are you lot? It's the next night now. Um, what is the time? It's uh, quarter past nine. And I thought to myself, well, I had a shower and all that. And I thought, you know what? Let's go outside for half an hour and play with that nitro car. So that's what I'm going to do. So where we left off yesterday, where I left off yesterday, um, I can't remember. Uh, oh, I can. It ran, but it ran really bad, didn't it? I put new fuel in it. It still ran quite bad. What I'm going to do is... I'm not going to bother taking the carb off yet. I'm, 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 I, I can get it going. I don't reckon it's blocked. So I'm going to stick the engine heater on it, get that nice and nice and nice and warm, a lot warmer than it ever got yesterday from running. Uh, get it nice and toasty with the engine warmer. And, well, start it up and see what happens. I reckon I can get it tuned. A uh, very bright idea of mine to have a shower and then come out here and start up a nitro car. I'll go to bed smelling of nitro fuel. But there we go. That's the life in the life of me. Catch you in a minute when I've got it nice and toasty and warm. Right, so I've got that in there now. On there, I mean. It's nice and warm. It's been on there for about two or three minutes. <laughs> Excuse me. Let's see what's going to happen now. Fuel's going in. Took a while, but I feel primed. I think we've run out of battery on it. Oh, well, no, mine's not done. What's happened here then? It ran all right with the engine heater on it. The minute I took the engine heater off, it didn't want to know. Run out of battery. I'm going to have to charge the battery up in this. Spare with me. Right, so the battery's all charged up now, um, but I've now run out of time pretty much for this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this, I'm going to plug this in and give this one more go. The plug is out. I'm going to run all that. Uh, I think it, I think it got flooded, so I'm going to run all that bit of fuel out with the plug out, and then uh, I'm going to call it a night. Oh. Seems to have jammed up. I think we can move that flywheel. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. The engine seems to have seized up. Well, this is an interesting turn for the books. We've got a seized up engine. 
Well, there we go. I have to try and unseize that somehow now. It might be a um, might be an engine out job anyway. Then that's no good at all. That's not, is it? Oh well, there we go. I reckon this, uh, he's been well and truly done over with that. What I reckon's happened now. Well, we'll find out. I'll have to talk to the bloke who owns it and see what he wants to do. But uh, that engine just seems to have seized up. The glow plug is not even in it, and it won't turn over. So I reckon it's been. I reckon there's an internal. Well, there's definitely an internal problem in there. But I reckon there could be a bearing or something that's gone, and that's why it runs so badly. Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh well. Here we go. There'll be a part two on this coming up then. Um, depends on what the bloke who owns this wants to do. If he wants me to take it apart and have a look, I'll do that. If he doesn't, then, well, that'll probably be it. But we'll find out. There'll be a part two with an update of what's going to happen on it. But the glow plug is out. And you see, it's definitely jammed up. But you can't turn it over whatsoever. So there we go. Thanks for watching, you lot. And uh, stick around for part two. Hopefully, he says to me, right, take it apart then and have a look and see what's going on inside there. I don't think he will be, to be honest with you. Um, but we'll see what happens. I hope that's what it does do. Then I'll have a cool little bit of a rebuild to do on it. So I'll catch you later on, you lot. Thanks for watching.